Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Hard West with me, Cornus Knight. As we press on with our tale towards its final conclusion, we are in the final chapter. We have to bust bust Florence out of purgatory, which means we then have to invade purgatory. Let's go to the army camp. Approaching the army camp, the camp was nearly deserted, only a couple of centuries remained. Burns was nowhere to be seen as an outlaw approaching openly would guarantee a hostile response. You could take the man the men out one by one, but it would likely yield less information about where Burns was. You decided to kill them on search remains, you snuck into the camp to eavesdrop on the men's conversations. Let's try that. Sneaking past the guard simply, you saw a sergeant talking with one of his subordinates. The man had to eavesdrop in his conversation. It seemed Burns leading an attack on a nearby Indian village. Vo vulnerable. Vo vulnerable, you can need to listen. Right, let's try and be sneaky. You stole some visits and snuck back out of the camp. Go to the massacre site, recruit. Jefferson Burns. There's no need for us to basically get any unwanted attention. A plume of smoke, ray, ra, a plume of smoke visibly visible from miles away guided you to the site of the pacification. The village was in ruins, littered with body parts. The army had not even spared the women and children. The place was deserted, save for a single figure standing on a rock, his head in his hands. Approach him. It was Jefferson Burns. Your mangled. Wizard seemed to convince Burns that you were the devil himself incarnate. He said he was ready for his punishment. You asked him which crimes weighed heaviest on his soul. Burns said he, he you couldn't be the devil if you didn't know his sin. Still, he was compelled to tell you all the. He was compelled to tell you of the attack of the village. Everyone had been killed except for a small group of natives who had escaped to the holy ground. He said the screams of his victims would haunt him until that he died, and that he was filled with ex existential dread. His faith shattered. He said he was unable to continue. You explained who you were and told him you needed your help in a mission. Let's go with that. Burns would never accept another mission. He had dismissed, dismissed his men and abandoned his command. His treacherous deed he would surely hang for. He said he would want to help you in a mission. You should seek out the tribesmen who had escaped to the holy grounds. They could be hungry for revenge. And able to convince him to join you, you headed towards the sacred grounds. As you departed, you heard a single sunset behind you. Burns had joined his victims. You left the pathetic remains without looking back. Right. Sacred grounds to recruit the Avenger. You followed a trail of blood and bodies to a giant twisted red leaf tree surrounded by greys. You, n you navigated the tall grass carefully looking for signs of the surviving natives. A whisper in the for foreign tongue behind you gave you a start. You raised your hands and turned slowly behind Behind the barrel of a precision rifle you pe was the painted face of a tribal warrior. He was wounded, but his had hands were steady. He gestured to you to leave this place. You and your the only English word you could make out was Dark Demon. You told him you were a spirit of vengeance, come to grant him an opportunity to settle things right. He snorted, gesturing to you again and said Black Demon. After a pause, he had another single word. Why? He wanted to know why a black demon like you would help a native warrior to get revenge. It was a fair question. You told him you were a spirit of vengeance, that you that you were Then you pantomimed him your story to him. As you related your tale, he maintained a solid expression and kept the gun's barrel into your head. Still, read part of your story, you could see the glint of understanding his eyes along with the fire of vengeance. When you finished he raised his gun and pointed to you then himself and said yes. The next candidates were Randy Harden, a notorious gunfighter, and Henry Persons, a former Pinkerton agent. The local crime lord would know where to find them. Let's see who we got. We got the last, the last of his tribe, Soul Warrior Chief Uyo, navigated it to the stone stars of honor and revenge. He's got a ooh, he's got. A splintered spine, that's not good. We might have to try and fix him up somehow. Give him that as well, he needs a defence more than I do. Dang, okay. Actually, to be honest... Um, 
he needs that really badly because he's got low health until we can figure out a way to fix him. So what does he have for weapons? Nah, actually he's got relatively good stuff. Better than us anyway. I mean I like that a lot, but I'm gonna have the sick suitor just so we can spray and pray. That's nice and short range. Right, let's go to the carnival. Is anything else? I don't like it. There's literally like a moat and pull of magma in the corner of our map. Now uh, we are going to hell, I suppose, one way or the other. Right, your party came upon a circus tent set up incredulously in the middle of the of the badlands. As you neared, you saw it was surrounded by armed and wearing clown makeup. A sign read. Dazzling house are peculiar and strange. Your previous travellers told you this was the Alvarigolo Mystic Gang, where Helida Wizard Algero had a reputation for making things and people disappear out of trace. Um, the office, the house offered all sorts of cheap entertainment. You stopped while to watch the show. A gypsy told you tell her red palms of the patrons. According to a sign, she was Durkun. Um, Dekina, Dekina Virgva, the mystic seer. At approaching, she became fixated on you, her horrible mouth agape. Finally, she screamed, Foul Hellion, I never laid a hand on those pup puppies, and slammed her kiosk suck and ran away. Now, I spent five more gold so we can get. You watched the, qu the quartz tro um, troopets artists known as the Beskill Brothers high atop the ceiling of the tent. Victor, poor Alex and Raphael performed the amazing feats of human agility. You knew a fall from height would kill anyone, but so ended safely with a socking stiletto mortel, but garnered a standing ovation from the crowd. I'm going to watch one more show. In ex Joss and James Harris was a knife throwing act. The woman bore numerous scars, and in ex Joss was missing a couple of fingers. Still, his aim was unerring, despite his obvious affinity for strong liquor. He went to see the wizard instead. A for tall ga gaunt man who's himself has seen vermilion. He said the wizard was waiting for you and offered you a complimentary drink. A single sort of glass filled with a cold, yellowish liquor set on a tray. Vermilion looked at you expectantly. You pushed the tray back, telling him you'd rather save drinking from for after the business was done. Vermilion led you through the dark corridors lined with cheerful circus posters. Finally you passed through a flat door and into a complete darkness. Vermilion was nowhere to be seen. You were trying to make out what might be in a dark room when a heavy funk of machinery, a single spotlight appeared, a tall figure stood in it, wearing some sort of cloak. You marched towards the figure, a hand on, on the butt of your holstered gun. A sudden flash of light blinded you, you tripped over something and felt a, ha a hard object slam to the back of your head, everything went black. You were awakened by a bucket of cold water to the face, you were tied up on the floor of a large room, room lit with floating orbs of cold blue light. A sort bald man wearing a long robe and strange hourglass stood above you. Behind him was Selim Villeman. He presented himself as Wizard Algerio, Algerio Gilio and said he had business with you. He asked if you wanted a, a lengthy explanation or just the basics. He said a long story would give you some more time to choose the right way to murder him. Let's go with that one. The wizard smiled and assured you he wouldn't have to, to be resorted to violence had you simply accepted this kind of for a drink. He knew who you were and who you were looking for and what you should give him that give up now. The wizard considered hard in his property and said the man was currently detained where he belonged. Persons though were a different ma persons though was a different matter. Henry Howard Person used to work for the Pinkerton Special Division, but several years of his service were blank. The Wizard of Surge who Persons was quite insane, but he found the man fascinating, especially his obsessed in search of a piece of a specific meteorite. Apparently, no law of property or human decency could stop him in his quest to acquire these pieces. He was the ultimate collector. Therefore, the Wizard continued, if you wanted to make contact with Persons, you needed to find a piece of the meteorite, and you were in luck. When the meteor travelled through Earth's skies, it left a trail of debris, debris in its very, in this very area. All you had to do was obtain some of these pieces to wherever you, in whatever way you deemed acceptable. Four pieces would in, would be enough to attract the strange man's attention and make him emerge from hiding. The wizard said, With "Those words, the wizard nodded to his men and to take you away." Right. 
We know what these meteorites are, unfortunately. Uh, let's try the illegal mine. You come across this prospecting site where a group of slaves toiled narrow, coffin sized holes in the ground, hauling silver from beneath the earth. It was doubtful the miners were sanctioned by the authorities. Rumour had it that Mr. Burks, one of the proprietors, had collected the precious stones. A piece of meteorite was his most prized piece. You threatened the prospectors with violence. Your threats fell on their fears. You had to kill them. They put up a fight and, wound and, wound and wounded one of your companions, but in the end, you retrieved the stone. A piece of the meteorite in your hand and melted and sank into your skin. You felt empowered, but you wanted to collect these pieces driven. Sorry, you felt empowered, but if you wanted to collect these pieces to drive persons out of hiding, you'd have to avoid burning burning them up. Okay, so he's got a cracked skull, because that's just fantastic. Um, and there's no doctor or anything in this game, I take it. And there's no shop. Quaker's wagon. Alone, the dilapidated wagon was parked beside a popular resting ground. Dr. M Dr. Mason Mason von Wiener's wagon smiled very stirred, strongly of liquor. No, it must be antiseptic. The doctor looked at you absentmindedly through the grease glasses. He may have been drunk and high on opium, but he was the only medic in the area. You came for healing. Right, okay. I'm gonna have to sell some stuff. Uh, it's really nice, but I really need the cash. Take the cash. Yeah, come for us for healing. Alright, you left a medical wagon. I take it that hasn't healed his back in no, it healed his back injury, alright. Excellent. Right. Orchid house. This inconspicuous rants away from the main world house the black market was dealt in contrabands of all kinds. You asked if they knew anything about a meteor piece. When you made this unusual demand, Junhar Arkman, the merchant, looked agitated. He considered the rock a lucky charm and was unwilling to give it up. If he did, he would change. He would charge him more for the rest of his goods to make up for the loss. Let's see. For the old prices, one last time. Really? That's all he's got? Oh, fine. I don't really need any of his stuff. Um, you agree to Arkman's agreement. Arkman handed you the meteor and reminded you that you would mark up your prices from this point forward. You collect another piece of the meteor, burning it would give you extra powers, but keeping them would help you recruit another companion. So I to keep it. And what did we get from the last time? Oh, we got plus slight sight cured. No, I, well, I suppose. You got to get three more of these things, and they're all over the place. Okay. Necropolis. You arrived in there, and you arrived in an area dominated by sinkholes and mud pits. It served as a graveyard of sorts, allowing coffins to simply sink into the bog. Was highly economical. Your reflection was intercepted. Your reflections was interrupted by the sight of a tall figure pacing back and forth across the necropolis. In the morning mist of the surreal landscape, he looked like an apparition, dressed in black and carrying a shovel that looked as though he must have been an undertaker. If the rumours about, if the rumour about like the, that, like that haunting from you were true, the man could be dangerous. Try to find out his identity. The man politely greeted, turned to excitement. He realised who you were. His name was San Carter Holmes. And he recognised you from your haunt, hunt for the masked man. Between your coffins and funeral services, you, one man slaughter routine, had called it, as he called it, had made him a pretty penny. He'd been looking for you for weeks to express his thanks. He thanked you as he handed you a stack of useful items, including some cash and a piece of meteorite. 
You collect another piece of meteorite. Burning it would give you extra power. Yeah, let's decide to um, absorb it. So we've got swiftness, uh, improved movement, really. Um, brothel. Cougar Trials. Nomad Shaman. Let's go with the Nomad Shaman. Car Chavion told you of a wandering healer with new skills that could help him. He said he if he help could help who could help him. He said it was a choice, the wound was not critical and healing would not be free. You asked what the, heal the healing involved exactly. Chivor described the ritual. Simon made a preparation for a rare cactus to use a trance state. During the ceremony, he then banished evil spirits from the bodies of the initiated, improving their health. Chevior, Chevior, Chevior said that you probably had some demons of your own and proposed you join the ritual as well. Right, let's fork out. You accepted a forking out necessary payment. The healer solemnly handed you several dark green cactus buckets buttons, cactus buttons, and told you to eat them when they were bitter, but you managed to choke them down. Then you began chanting a rhythmic hum, which soon put you in a trance. When you opened your eyes, you, were, you saw evil eyes staring at you from every stone and every star. The moon was a gigantic evil eye, dominating the night sky. The same man danced frantically, pounding the dirt with his cane and cursing the evil spirits. Gradually, the, gate, the eyes gave way to vibrant colours and shapes. A feel of peace passed over you. You fell asleep with a blissful smile on your disfigured face. You woke up the next day, the sun already high in the sky, the same was gone, but you sensed the great inner peace was there. You packed up your bags and departed the next day. So what did we get? Endurance, toughness and nails. Yep, that's good. Okay, Rojar's tannery. Let's try that one. The stench of tanning liquid, liquid, liquids was smothering, but the tanner was rumoured to possess a piece of the meteorite, so you pressed on. When you told him that you were looking for, he shrugged. He had once used a piece in the tanning vat to speed up the reaction, though now, though, he had a reliable source of the tanning crystal catalyst and didn't need the meteor anymore. Fortunately for you, however, it lay in the bottom of a vat full of toxic material. If you're desperate enough, you could simply reach for it. You wanted to think this over first. Okay. I don't want to stuff my hand into that if unless we really need to. So, the necropolis is still there. Actually, he said he gave us useful items. What did he give us? No weapons. A whole bunch of stuff. Pardon me, sorry. Right, so, what's he got? Grants healing over time. Right, there we go. Sorry. Almost need there, for example. Oh, for a moment. Fate. Let's try the brothel. You arrived at a well-maintained farm composed of several large bungalows with all, extent with all extensive red lighting. Emir Bali Bali, the Borturus establishment, was known for its security. The place was guarded by several women who worked the clients. Only a fool would cross them. You went to the bar. The bar was, a was about as busy as the private rooms with the women working with both the bouncers and the waitresses. You noticed some Back, uh, you notice some um, the curios, the curios sitting around the table. If you wanted to pick a fight, fight them fellas would be the heap of trouble. Apart from them, though, it was mainly the old ranchers gambling and snapping and sipping their booze. Right, you brought around the drinks for everyone in the bar, lighting the mood and keeping them out of the fight. You drained yourself some amount of cheers and, the mur and murmurs. The Virgos particularly appreciated the gesture and went about rehydrating themselves with quite with, with tequila. You asked the barmaid if the name Randy Hardin rang any bells. When the girl made a face, you knew you were the backpot. She pointed to the building across the, w the farm. Hardin was there, she said, detained on orders from the wizard himself, which no one could figure, since Hardin had been the wizard's attendant for years. She pulled you in close and said you she thought it was because Hardin was a diseased husk of man no longer fit for any real job. She said if you wanted to see him you would you should talk to Madame Bye Bye. 
BABA, no, Madam BABA, her breath hot on your neck, she asked whether you wanted anything else. You went out, went out of the lobby. The brothel was a large complex, a gaggle of gunslingers hanging around in the bar. The kitchen behind the counter led to an open courtyard, but you were forbidden from going there. You were allowed into a lobby where the women had watched you from, with distrust while doing their best to look seductive. You asked to talk to the madam. James Rusk, James Rusk, Emir's baby, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye assistant led you through the door and followed you close behind you. The room was adorned with paper mache decorations and chains. In the centre of the room lay a de lay like a desk, stood a, a, a massive safe cabinet. You heard someone clear her throat and turn to see Emir. M A M A M A B B A. Look at you disapprovingly. You asked a price of Hyden's freedom. Emma, Emma, Emma. I can never pronounce this, her name. Emma B B A. Looked at her sister and two started giggling, then burst out laughing. You were tempted to shut the mouth of your gun, seeing your consternation. B B A. Explained she only did business with important people. You mentioned your role in the masked man's untimely death. The madam, madam said that it hardly compared to being trusted ally of the wizard and the leader of a feared and respected organisation. You weren't allowed whether she was confused the word ally with henchmen. She looked at you, dis she looked at you dis dispassionately as she lit a cigarette on a long slender finger. She asked why you were interested in the worthless son of a ma motherless go goat like Hardin. She inquired as to whether you ran a charity for cripples and hobos. Ah, I've had enough to see. With lightning swiftness, you pulled out the, the assistant gun and his host and shot him in the stomach. Uh, are we going to do this? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's let's live risky. Things didn't go exactly as planned. Despite the odds, you still needed to get Harden out of there. Not so funny now, are you, laddie? Eat that. Get the cover. Reach Harden, he's over there, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people, I know. Never said there wasn't. Hit him in the head. There's someone outside. Yeah, there's someone coming. Chain kill, we've got dodge. Uh, not point shooting her, shoot her. Good evening, gent. Missed. Okay, that's bad. 
he had a shotgun. Oh, they really are packing in. Ouch, right. Oh, shredded hand, no. That's bad. Okay, so what has he got? He's got shredded ham. What does that do? Uh, Dag nabbit. Okay. Um, problem is, we've got this her up here. Because he's got us flanked. So he needs to duck in a cover here. Yeah, shoot her. Ah, oh, we missed. That's a ton of them. Well, I just keep killing people. If push comes to sub, just keep killing people and there's no more people left to kill. Just slaughter them all. Blood for the blood god. Kill him. Blood for the blood god and all that stuff. Reload. And turn. There she comes. Yeah, let them. Turn up all you like, lady. I'll give you enough room just to bury her. Let's just suit her and get her down. There you go. She's dead. You can switch. Reload. Is there anything else here we could use? Does a safe for anything we can use? Uh, nope. Oh, nice. End turn. Let's just reload. Ah, there we go. Killed him outright. Get up to here. And let's just get into a good position. He's going to push up. needs to reload. I forgot I hadn't reloaded him. Go for him. Ooh, he's still got one hit point. Mm, tough bloke, aren't you? But not tough enough. So we need to get through here to get to here, do we? Okay. Yeah, knew there was someone hiding here. Evening, ladies. Right, get up here. Hopefully you can get stuff done, you can reload your rifle. Right, where do we need to go? He's he's in there, but for the time being, you've got to duck behind cover this way. Get to here. Evening. Kill her. I wish I could see into this room what's in here. She's got a reposition. Golden bullet. Right. Into the room. 
we notice oh there's someone upstairs okay that's not great we notice someone upstairs oh that's bad there's not much cover back downstairs. Maybe we can bait her to come down. At least we can reload. And shift back into position. Perhaps we can bait her We know she's up there in the roof. He's got his stamina coming back up. I see her from the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, I can. Go for it. Dang, she's tough. Can he see her from here? No. Ah, oh, really? Too much that's gonna cost me to get that healed. From his binds, Harden thanked you and cursed those who betrayed him. Of course, he had no idea why you freed him in the first place. But it was time to leave. Right, we got Harden. But we've also got a mangled foot, which sucks. He's got a shredded hand, which sucks. He's got syphilis, which sucks. Got a blood stain shirt, shirt. Trinkets. Yeah. Open cards. What did we get? Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't know what he's packing. You can have the defense. Aim is useful for you. I'll give you that one because it's associated with your character. And what's this one? Plus foresight, you can have that. What does he have? Jackal, okay. So we're going to have to sell a lot of stuff and get people um, healed up. Until then, this is going to have been. Hard West, I've been Qantas Knight. If you've liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the description button. You can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Steam, you can leave a comment in the comment section. I'll get back and get back in contact with you. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.